Welcome back to Brad Miller time. Obviously, Valentine's Day is fast approaching, and a lot of guys are getting in the lovey-dovey spirit. And like we did last year, we had Jay Gregoire come on. He was looking for a little bromance, and he found it. And this year we have uh, freshman forward Brett Brunito, who is newly single to the open market, and he's looking for a little bromance for this Valentine's Day. Suterette number one is a pianist. He likes long walks on the beach, and he loves the snow. Suter number two enjoys cooking and also loves holding hands. Suter three is an aspiring musician, plays jazz flute, and loves coconuts. So why don't we go ahead, after learning about these suitors, why don't we give the mic over to Brett, and you can ask the questions to find out who's the best man for you. Let's see, my first question for contestant number one, starting with you. If you were stranded on a deserted island, what three items would you bring and why? I would bring a spear to kill and hunt, a George Foreman grill to cook my food, and toilet paper because I like to stay clean. If I could bring three things on Desert Island, um, one would be cookies to remind me that those are Brett's favorite. Um, two would be a beach ball so I could play catch when I was lonely. And three would be Brett's retainer slash tooth so I could look at that and it would remind me of him and get lonely I could touch that. Uh, three items I would bring, um, probably duct tape, uh, earplugs, just in case, and uh, Megan Fox. She is, is, that, is that an item? Yeah. yeah, that's good. All right, question number two. If you could be any guy on the team, who would it be and why? Contestant number two, start with you. If I could be any guy on the team, I would be Chris Vandevelde because he is a sexy young man. Uh, if I could be anyone on the team, I'd probably be Brett Hextall because... Uh, I don't know, he lives in California and uh, hangs out with Ron Hextall all day, so can't beat that. I'm going to have to go with Aaron Dell because he has the sexiest body on the team. Uh, he's really interesting to talk to, and he has lots of friends that I can hang out with if I ever get bored. Third question, starting with contestant number three. If you could be any animal, what would it be and why? If I could be any animal, I think the answer is obvious. I'd be a flying squirrel. Um... I don't know if you've ever seen squirrels, but they obviously are having a great time just chasing each other up trees. And I'm not in it for the fun, so I'd be a flying squirrel. Um, I would be a phoenix, like in Harry Potter, because they're mystical, kind of like me and my personality. And I think Brett would really appreciate that. I think I would be a unicorn, just because I think uh, if Brett ever did see me in the unicorn, he would know that it's the only time he's ever going to see a unicorn, and that I'm his one and only. All right, fourth question. Back to contestant number one. If I could fly out to your hometown for a weekend, where would you take me on a date and what would we do? I would pick you up from the airport and then we would go home and while I mow the lawn, you can clean the house. Brett, if you came to my hometown, I would pick you up and then hopefully it would be winter and then we could go in my backyard and hold hands and skate on the ice together on the frozen pond. If I were to fly you to my hometown, uh, I'd probably fly you back to Grand Forks and take you on a classy date, And uh, but I would have to test you first and I'd accidentally forget my wallet just to make sure that you're loaded. Suitors with a lot of great answers, great answers again, and uh, this is going to be the last question, Brett. I know this is going to be tough. You're going to have to break a couple hearts. A couple guys might go home alone, and that's really sad, but that's the world we live in. So hopefully you got a good idea of how these guys are going, and this is the last question, so make sure you pay attention. Why should you be my bromance for Valentine's Day? Contestant number one. There really just aren't words to describe the type of person that I am. Um, I think if you had all this in your life, uh, you'd be definitely filled with bro, and um, I would uh, just I would fill the gap in your life and in between your teeth. I think I should be your bromance and Valentine Brett because I know you perfectly, and I know that what you want to do on Valentine's Day is go to Qdoba and sit there all day and eat all three meals there 
and have chips and queso and just talk about life. And I'm willing to do that with you on Sunday. Look, Brett, I'm the best there is. That's all there is to it. Um, I mean, I wake up in the morning and piss excellence. And, uh, you know, I'm the obvious choice, I think. I mean, look at these guys, right? You know? It's going to be tough, but you're going to have to eliminate one person. Well, I think uh, this first one's kind of an easy choice. Uh, contestant number one, even though you sound like a very caring person, I don't feel like cleaning your house when I come out to your hometown. So I'm sorry, contestant number one, you are not my bromance. All right, Tuna, you got one more guy to eliminate. And then you find out who your bromance is. Who is it? Well, uh, this was a pretty tough decision. Uh, the last two contestants obviously had some great answers. And uh, I've had to put a lot of thought into this. And contestant number three, you, uh, you seem a little bit too into yourself for me. Some of your comments just uh, showed a little bit of a, a big ego. And uh, that's just not for me. So I'm sorry, contestant number three, you are not my bromance. That leaves you with you and suitor number two. If we could find out who suitor number two is, and you guys can meet in the middle and do your thing. Congratulations, suitor number two. Suitor number Dan Christo. Yeah. They're gonna and they kiss. That's that's awesome. Um, you. Evan Trupp, got to be disappointing. I thought you had it in the bag. You had a lot of great answers. Um, tell us how you're feeling about getting eliminated. Uh, you know, pretty heartbroken, but, uh, you know, what I do have for him is uh, this walking stick because he must be blind for not picking me. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. It seems like a really arrogant choice, but he did pick uh, Dan, who seems to be pretty solid, and obviously you weren't up to par. Guess not. <laughs> It's uh, just one of those those cases that, uh, you know, the better man didn't win. Tate Maris, you got eliminated first. Obviously, you brought nothing to the table. How do you feel about uh, having absolutely no sh no shot at all? Uh, well, Mar, you know, I went out there today, and I pretty much gave it, uh, I just laid it on the line, gave it what I wanted. And uh, you know what? The kid uh, owns Aaron Brockovich on VHS, uh, as you know very well. And, you know, that's just something... That's just something. That's just something. Take your time. <laughs> That's just something that I don't need in my life <laughs> right now. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> well, Mario, quite the entertaining episode today. You know, I was uh, viewing from the crowd, and um, you know, certainly some great answers. Seemed like uh, three guys that all could have been chosen and, and been great bromances um, for this Sunday's Valentine's Day. Um, what do you think about some of the contestants? Well, I mean, I thought Tate uh, would have a real great shot at making it, but obviously the guy's too emotional. He got emotionally attached real early, and uh, you know. His dreams got shattered, and, you know, it's, it's sad to see, but, you know, there can only be one winner, and obviously he was the first to go. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you can be happy for, for two guys. You know, you get a bunch of single guys up here, and um, it's just disappointing. Two of them are now uh, without dates, and, um, I mean, I guess similar to last year, it's, uh, it's me and you here at the end together, um, and I guess we are going to enjoy Sunday together. I mean, that's the obvious answer, and... Uh, I'm just really glad it turned out this way. Obviously, you know, maybe we can keep this going for a few more years. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for uh, this Valentine's Day episode. And uh, I'm just bringing it in for a hug. Yeah. We'll see you next week.